All right, what's up guys and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So today we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do since like the second episode, which is I believe when I found out that this was even a possibility in this game. And although I wasn't surprised, I just didn't really look into it. But today we're going to be playing with uh, the legendary Ezio Aditore da Firenze. Okay, well, not really with him, but with his outfit. Okay, and I think it's going to look really cool. Okay, I haven't done it yet, but I feel like when you use these outfits in like more modern day ish games, it's like if you were playing a remake version of that old classic game. Only when you're looking at the character, obviously everything else is different, but I don't know. I think it'd be cool. So before we do that, obviously we got to go into the, uh, the next sequence, which I believe is the beginning of sequence six. And, uh, the last sequence was in fact, a pretty insane, significant revelation. Uh, if you missed it, go check it out. The link will be down in the description. So anyways, here we are. We've got sequence eight, which I don't know why it's, it's always been available for us, like without even doing any other sequence. Um, but of course we're going to be going in order as per usual. So we're going to go to six and, uh, here we go. So a run on the bank, having uncovered her master plan, Jacob assassinated Pearl Attaway and recovered the internal combustion engines from the Templars. Now a mysterious letter leads Jacob to a plot that could put all of London's gold in jeopardy while Evie forms a new plan to strike back at Lucy, Th at Lucy Thorne and reclaim the key to the Shroud of Eden. What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? I wager Dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London Transportation Network. Don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. All right, so here we are atop the city of London. And we are taking one last look at the old Jacob because the new Jacob is on the rise. So we're going to go here. <laughs> Inventory must be anonymous. How, what do you mean? Or on the level ground? Uh, okay, fine. I really wanted to do that leap of faith with Ezio's uh, outfit, but all right. If you please. So here we are. Weapons. We're going to go to uh, outfits. And, uh, oh man. The beauty, the renaissance, and the charm of the legendary assassin Ezio Auditori da Firenze. Oh my god, it looks like him, dude. Oh my god. I don't think we need a new weapon at the moment. I'm gonna hold off on that. What I'm gonna do instead is going to be probably upgrade the belts, or actually, I'm gonna hold off on that as well. Um, I'm gonna go to skills and I'm gonna upgrade the skills. There's one here that I really wanted to do. Which is this one throwing knives stun enemies for a short time you automatically recover throwing knives when performing multi kills it's a no-brainer holy smokes dude oh man oh man wow bro imagine like assassin's creed 1 remake like this and assassin's creed 2 and brotherhood and all that other jazz. I wish he didn't take off his freaking hood. Dude, that is incredible, man. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Oh, dude. Wow. That looks amazing. Okay, so where's uh, Jacob's next mission? I'm actually going the opposite way, but that's because I'm a little bit distracted by this beauty of a man. All right, so we're out of here. There really isn't a better assassin than Ezio. There really isn't. And when you play it at first, you know, it's like, oh, okay, the game's great. He's amazing. I love it. But that grows more the longer you go away from playing it you know like the longer 
time passes by and you really start comparing them to the all the other assassins and you realize there's none like him that one the only one to me that comes close but the only two out here obviously he is the main guy you know he's the dude that started it all started it all and then edward i think edward is like those are the main three those are like the big three man those three are my favorite and i don't know i would say i like all all three of them as equal or equally as much um the only thing is that Ezio's story probably That's puts him above the rest just because of how big and significant the story was and that ending man and then you got a movie before and the movie after like that embers movie oh dude okay enough is enough let's go we are here who is this delinquent case of identity jake intends to hunt down mr dredge to uncover plutus plutus I'll take one. Here you go, sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. Oh, oh oi! <laughs> you weak fool. Get a job. Damn. best guards money can buy won't do mr dredge any good oh you're messing you're messing with uh Ezio Atitori. this is a different breed right now i'm a different All type right. of assassin Ready for a round. How about you? you don't know what you just got yourself into Do not kill any policemen. All targets must uh, be alive to complete this memory. Okay. So we've got that policeman. Now, I, again, I shouldn't assassinate all of them, but maybe it's just easier if I do. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Okay, here we go. Again, I haven't killed anyone. I just got to get rid of the guys that are roaming. The guys that are roaming are the guys I got to take care of. All right, I'll take this guy out. <laughs> Just choke his ass out in plain sight. Ooh. All right, these guys are actually probably good to have because they create a distraction. Let's go. Yes. Don't you dare move a muscle. Wait a minute. Shut your trap. Is that you? Fry. Oh, God. All right, we just ought to be careful here. Maybe down this way. Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. Huh? What's that then? Okay, we're almost out. Come now. You are barking up the wrong tree, sir. Sorry, going on. Okay, we've got everything oh, under control. Perfect. Wow, I actually didn't kill anyone. This Jacob, is awesome. <laughs> it's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant. Undercover. 
There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abilene Wright all along. Well, I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cockham merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! I, 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 I'm keeping my eye on you. Alright. I think that's probably like the first mission we've done perfect. A spot of tea. Jacob plans to follow the Cockham well, the Cockham weapon crates to the destination in order to unmask Lutus. The man planning the bank heist. Hmm. If only I knew which shipment it was. So friggin' cool. And I could trace the weapons to their owner. Capital idea, Freddy. Here we are, the shipping docks. Now, where are the cock and crates intended for Mr. Plutus? Locate the smuggled cock ham weapons. I've said this before, man. This game looks better at night. It just looks incredible. All right, so I'll wear this just in case. I kind of wish we could wear it while standing instead of like crouching like that, you know? Wouldn't be really nice. Okay, so we've located this. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, what are you doing to me? Come on. Seriously? Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. <clears throat> Is there guys up top? Search this real quick. Anything in there? Tea. Maybe later. Oof. Huh? Got another victim right here. Another one bites the dust. I see someone. He's right there. Of course I'm not there, bro. I'm an assassin. And with this outfit, you never stood a chance. These upgrades, you never stood a chance. I sort of got it. it. Feels like I'm playing with Ezio, man. I love this. Shit. Okay, so I can probably. Gotcha. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, boys. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Thanks, sir. Hello. We found it. I came to this one because it was further away, so I now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. Kind of figured. So hide until the cargo car uh, cart's departure. Man, I got to stop doing that. I got to use the hook. Perfect. Don't want them tea leaves turn to dust, do we? we? Take these crates. Any mistake will cost you dearly. Keep your knickers on. We hear you. Good, because I ain't repeating myself. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. Man, I swear, it's like every single game I've... 
In every single Assassin's Creed game, I've just played with the regular outfits because I wanted to keep it true to the playthrough. Uh, you know, so I could feel as if you were playing normally. But let me tell you, man, playing with different outfits feels like you're playing that game. Should probably hijack one of these. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hijack this. Sorry, guys. Don't take it personal. I'm just a man on the job. That is all. Okay, what's it doing over there? Ooh, hold on. Let's climb up through here. What is going on here? Uh, tail the oh. <laughs> okay, that was definitely a glitch. Okay. I bet Greeny's tailing Evie right about now. Good luck. Man, this is so cool. The target is too far away. Oh, crap. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Did we make it? Yes. Perfect. Oh my God. That's a lot of them. Templars. Yep, there it is. Perfect. All right, nice. You are. Ah, yes. Lead me to Mr. Plutus. That's a girl. Just gonna stay here nice and steady I want to get too far but yet not too close let's go come on Doing fine, Ezio probably would have lost his mind if you were able to uh, <laughs> if he would be able to ride one of these my boy Ezio man damn it Should be there any second. Walk on, girl. Who's a good horse? You are. Oh, don't get too close to your target. Shoot. Let's go. I'm gonna be honest, Easy I've never been a fan it. of these missions. I mean, I like them, but. What I don't like about them is that when you lose, you got to start all the way from the That's beginning. The okay, we're going to make a left right here. One. Oh. Slow down. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Same routine as before. There he is. The twopenny opens a vault, we robs it, and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. A spot of the tea completed. Plutus is twopenny. Metal web belts. All right, hold on. Inventory. 
belts. God, I can't get any of these. I need to be level six. All right, how about some um, skills? Let's do. I think it was this one. Yeah. That is super clutch, dude. The fact that you can see the arrows like on the mini map. What good is a key if you don't know what locket opens? I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry, Mr. Green here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen, kept in the Tower of London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there? A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside. I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. Well, good luck. Evie. Are these guys like in love or something? A little romance brewing here. I'm a little jealous. Evie's actually pretty fucking cute. I'm not gonna lie. Probably the prettiest. Cassandra was really pretty too. They've all been pretty. You know? I never said that, alright? The Tower of London, 1868. Oh, Lots what an intro. Guards. Love it. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. Kill fewer than five royal guards. Sheesh. I'm an assassin. How can you limit my assassinations? That's like against the rule book of assassins. That should be illegal. Look at all of the uh, royal guards. Alright, so here we go. I really do like playing with Evie, man. She's cool. The shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Hope! Escort it to the keys. Hope! Who comes there? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. Who's Queen Victoria's keys? And all's well. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. What? Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay. Assassinate this chick again. Jesus. Allied Guard. Unique opportunity. Assistance opportunity infiltration. Eh, whatever. I'll do whatever comes first. I'm not going to sweat too much over it. There's a suspicious looking woman. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, miss. This is All right, we're going to head this way then. Let's see. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. The amount of people here is actually absurd. Was, was this the actual way where... Um, I think it was this way. Man, thank God for this hook. This would be incredibly painful to do. Okay, what do we have here? So, advantage. Unlocks allies to hire, can aid in combat, and instruct his guards to do the same. Be the constable. Is that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nice. Ooh, look at this. Yes. 
Yes. For God's sake, I wish they just knocked the constable out. Shut your trap. Is someone out there? Yes. A friend. Oh, that's good. Say, friend, could you get me out? Guards ran off with the keys. Oh, man. Find the key. Are you kidding me? All right, so you know what? I'm going to kill the last... Oh, I don't think there's anybody else. Oh, okay. This guy has the key. Perfect. So... Nice. I thought I was going to have to go to the other key, which is all the way across the other side. Please don't turn. Excellent. What's she doing here? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Are much better than the standard issue. Might as Come well stupid. While we're here. Come here, stupid. Come here, stupid, stupid, stupid. You ever seen the Jurassic oh, Park movie? <laughs> fetch, fetch, stupid. Fetch, stupid. You ever seen that? <laughs> the movie's awesome. And then the dinosaur ends up eating him and shit. Yeah, quite, uh, quite amazing. This guy dipped, man. I literally came here for one reason, and this man ended up leaving. Oh, he's right there! Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to carry the body. So now that I get the constable. Thank you. It's treason is what it is. And desecration of the chapel. Miss Thorne told me to be grateful they didn't kill me outright. The nerve. She's after an object of great power. She cannot be allowed to steal it. Not the crown jewels. Something much more important. We must stop her. I still have men loyal to me. I'll rally them. Hold on, sir. Let me kill this guy here. Just in case. All right, where'd he go? Okay. All right, gentlemen, we are facing an enemy we never expected. Traitors in our midst. But this young woman is our ally and she knows their methods. I've something I need you to Follow do. Follow her directions as you would my own. Yes, sir. Wow. Nice. If the constable says so, then it's our duty. Queen Victoria. So these guys should be on my side now, all of them, correct? Yes. Can we go in through here? If I go up, will they follow me up? Oh, they're fighting. Oh, God. Right, we should all be allies here. So. Done. She's over there. get down there i'm not gonna go through the main entrance but be right here got a much better pathway oh 
Holy crap. Alright, I'm gonna set those guys out to fight. <laughs> oh god. They died. What? Oh. Oh, dude. Thank God. You saved me. I don't care for an opportunity of a special assassination or anything like that. I just I just want to kill this freaking biatch. He's right there. He saw me. Perfect. Now. What are you doing? There we go. Finish it off with a double assassination. <laughs> so, you have murdered me after all. <laughs> but what good will that do you? The shroud isn't here. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it when we would better the condition of humanity. <clears throat> I hope you never find the shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. <laughs> Tell me then. <laughs> No. <laughs> I like that little handkerchief thing they do. Pretty cool. We are all allies here. So I need to, no need to get crazy. You best get yourself away before I do. I'll hold off as long as I can. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, what the hell? What do you mean? I'm, I'm part of you guys. Oh God. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think he was going to freaking sound the alarm. <laughs> Crap. Alright, we got it. Ow! Fuck! You and your stupid horse! Far so good. Master Assassin. Interesting. Take this down. Then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Miss Thorne. You supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The order <clears throat> thanks you. <clears throat> I thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the shroud can only be worn by one. Him, of course. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. <laughs> but that is the most I can do. He doesn't even Father know. Father of yet. understanding guide you. He yes, doesn't what even is know. it? 
Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key? <laughs> Where is the key? There was no key found on her body, sir. Oh, he's mad, bro. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> the shroud will be mine, even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. This is getting really good, man. Getting really good. We still have one more mission, I think. Let's see. Yes, we do. And it's really, really close, so thank God. Um, I think that's the only one left, yeah. So, I wanted to see what this Master Assassin outfit is. Inventory. Master Assassin. Oh. I like this, man. Very nice. I like the black and red. It looks so sick. A lot of people that I know don't actually like the combinations of black and red. I think they look dope. I mean, wearing it in clothes is probably not something I'd lean to, but just a color combination. This looks good, though. I would probably wear this if I was in the 1800s, 1900s. 1800s. Nowadays, not a chance. Cosplay, not even. Okay, so we got to head up there. This looks really cool, though. I love how wide like these streets are. Like I, I just find them so really freaking awesome. So really freaking awesome. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I've been saying this. It should be the last mission though. One good deed. Evie visits South Wark, South Wark after Jacob assassinated Pearl and shut down her ominous company. I will not build a single bus for you criminals. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Hey! I'm after him! What are we doing here? Who are we killing? Come on, talk to me. How'd it go? Ah, oh, God. Friend yeah. Edward. Got what, 10 bullets? Yo, <laughs> you guys are ruthless, man. <laughs> I jacked the driver. Perfect. Come on, Mr. Jacob. Crap. Perfect. Kill him. No more bullets left. This fucking sucks. Oh, what the hell, dude? Mind your own business, you stupid policeman. Oh, goodness. Shit. Let's go. Edward, let's get out of here. We're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Take deep breaths. They're gone. God damn, bro.
Alright, good. Damn, bro. The city's been turned upside down since Hathaway Transport and the Milner Company went belly up. With no one to fill their shoes, the gangs made their move. Well done, Jacob. As is Bailey, the only omnibus builder in the city, they are demanding that I work for them. I know the good men who want to form a united transport company. There you are. What is it they say in America? For the people, by the people? That is our intention for the London General Omnibus Company. But those thugs got hold of the deed to Hathaway Transport. We need it to begin our company. Easy. There you go. Okay, the deed. Really? Really? I just freaking saved your life. Ooh. Do not let the target exit the factory. Holy smokes. I almost got caught. Oh, hello there, princess. Find an entrance entrance and we found one right here. got to turn around and see me excellent so many freaking people here bro escape the factory i wasn't gonna kill him but since he noticed me i was like well fuck you then man enough is enough and i wonder how you, uh origins looks in this uh, on the computer like if this looks this nice i can only imagine how origins looks it's gotta be amazing return the deed Oh, God. Easy, easy. Perfect. Faster. Sorry, guys, not today. Not looking for trouble right now. Come on. I've had a good episode, no major setbacks. So I'm in a good mood. sent Ross men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. Hmm. 
bad penny. Jacob prepares to enter the Bank of England, stop the robbery, and eliminate two penny. Sounds like a Batman mission. Eliminate two penny, like two face or something. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. No, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <coughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. <laughs> oh, yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupiny well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupiny is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Two penny won't be leaving that vault. Hmm. Assassinate Philip Two Penny. I'm just gonna kill him, dude. Fuck this. Screw this opportunity crap. I'm gonna fail too many times if I try doing that. Alright. We got some recruits there. All right. Oh, fancy. Fitting for two pennies too. What's this? How does security unlocks your new kill must know two pennies weakness? Oh shit. Is that him? That is him. He looks suspect, to say the least. <laughs> he looks suspect, Where to say the least. Where is Tupini? Please. I have a family. He's in the vault, ogling his priceless paintings. Right, so I'm going to knock this guy out. Uh... Come on, man. Bullshit. Bullshit. Open the vaults. This is such bullshit. Even use that here. Sorry, Bucko. These guys are vicious, bro. I've literally got no medicines left. All right, so one on the turn, one the turn around, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, 
Perfect. Please give me medicine. Please give me medicine. Please. No medicine. Nothing. What a cheap asshole. We did it. Oh my god, we did it. A little sloppy, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's open this up. And to the vault we go. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. What the frick is this? Hide over there. But what in the world is this? Don't see me. Mr. Static will be pleased with our work tonight. Oh God. Bro, how are you gonna give me all of this open and not give me like some currency or something like money or what have you? The disrespect, man. You know how broke I am right now? I need money to buy medicine, bro. We gotta find a way down there. Hurry now. You will get your cart as promised. Man, I could just literally kill him, bro. This is driving me insane. Look at the bars of gold. Nice. Excellent. Well, the question is, how do we access that? same time we will count everything later oh my god holy smokes let me carry this body bro we should be nearly finished by now Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to kill him through the pain. Ah! You can almost, you can almost see it already. Damn, that's going to be crazy. Stolen your last shilling from the people of London. 
Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as their work. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. I mean, that is kind of true. It sucks, but it's reality. For the path of the dead. What they're doing is definitely fucked up and could be done in a much better fashion. Typically, evil people are the ones that are smart enough to be evil. <laughs> Which sucks. So the hell with them. Well, he's dead. Man, that was freaking awesome, bro. That was really cool. We just gotta get out of here. So dope. So freaking sick. Just like that, we leave the bank. Come here, big guy. Catch you later, boys. Whew. Let's go, baby. If I fall from here, I'm done. <laughs> if I get shot and I fall, I'm done. Murder! Murder! Thank goodness the police were saved. Arrest them all for robbing the people of England. Oh, yeah. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. I didn't find the secret passage, but it's fine. Still cool. I like that assassination. That was dope. Really, really cool. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control. Coopany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir? The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. Damn. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. Hey, this guy doesn't play. Holy hell. My boy does not play. He's dangerous. Alright guys, so we are headed to sequence 7. On the next episode, this was a fantastic one. I hope you guys had a good time. Enjoyed yourselves as always. If you'd like to see more, drop it a like. And uh, thank you guys again. Catch you later.